Hey guys, so in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys how to install the iOS 15 public beta on your phone. So um, I'm just going to be going through this process with you. I get the public beta every year, but do be advised, this is a beta for the software. So there might be glitches and things and some things might not work correctly on your phone. So just be aware of that, that there is a risk going into this. So yeah, without further ado, let's get into the tutorial. Okay, so in order to install the beta, what you want to do is you want to go to your web browser and you want to go to the website called beta.apple.com. So as you can see, I have it here. Click on go. And then it will take you to this screen here, which is Apple beta software program. And you can see that you just have some information. You can get more information about each type of software down here. But I'm just gonna click on sign in since I'm already a member, but you can just click on sign up. So you're just gonna sign in or sign up using your Apple ID. It's as easy as that. Okay, so after you're signed up or signed in, it's gonna take you to this screen here where you can choose which software you wanna download. I'm just gonna stick with iOS. And here it just gives you some information about getting started. So here at the getting started area, you're gonna go on enroll your device. You'll see it is in blue text, tap on that. And it's gonna load again and it's gonna take you to this screen here. So it just gives you some tips also. So it, so it recommends you do a backup on your phone and then you have to download your profile. So click on download profile and then it's gonna start downloading that to your device. It's gonna ask you to allow, so click on allow. Profile downloaded, review the profile in settings app. Click on close. Now we're gonna to go to settings and you'll see here it says profile downloaded. Tap on that and then you'll see it gives you more information about it. Click on install and then type in your passcode and then it's just gonna ask you to give consent, click on install and click on install again. And then it's gonna ask if you can restart your device. I'm gonna click on restart. Okay, so now it did restart my device. I'm gonna go in now again. Now we're gonna go back into settings and then we're gonna go to general and go to software update. And here it says iOS 15 public beta 2. So now you're just going to select download and install. So just finished downloading the update. Now we're just going to click on install now. And then it's just going to verify the update real quick. Okay, so now as you can see, it is busy installing the update. And I'll get back to you guys again after it's finished doing the entire install. Okay, so it says your iPhone has been updated to iOS 15. So let's just open this up and see if I can notice any differences. This already looks different, the type of notification. Um, it's more rounded in the corners, I believe. Um, but let's just open this up. Okay, so far, everything looks exactly the same. Nothing looks different yet. Oh, wait. Uh, announce calls and notifications. Um, oh, it's because I have my AirPod in. Sure, yeah, okay. Um, here I can see some things are different. Uh, we have the feedback app that you always get when you install the beta. Polycam, what on earth is this? Uh, I'm gonna look into that a little later. Sitescape. I'm guessing this is for AR. I will look at all those things later after I film this video. Um, but yeah, let's go to the app drawer. First I wanna go into settings real quick and see what it looks like. Okay, yeah, so it does look noticeably different here, as you can see. Um, if you compare it to another phone's settings app, these are now more rounded. If I go, for instance, into the Bluetooth area, let's go to general, display and brightness. Okay, I need to change the wallpaper real quick. Um, so as you can see, this is the new wallpaper. I'm gonna set it for my lock screen. I wanna go into messages. Okay, shared with you. Content shared in messages can automatically appear in apps. Okay, yeah, I remember that was a big thing that they announced. The weather app looks so much better on iOS 15. Honestly, I absolutely love it. So that is something that got a huge update also is the weather. I completely forgot about it for a second, but yeah. I absolutely love weather now. It looks so much better. <laughs> Another thing that I wanna check out real quick is Safari, cause I know it got an update. So here you can see your tabs are now down here. 
and you can quickly switch between your tabs and when you're scrolling it just lies down there so you don't have to worry about being in your way but then you can just switch real easy between tabs which is really nice and then of course we have focus here which i'm gonna set up after filming this but you have your focus here where you can set sleep personal or work and obviously you can adjust your widgets and your notifications and everything according to whichever mode you're in so focus is another big update that we know they brought to um, iphone also now in photos you have the option to copy text in a photo itself so you can easily copy and paste text um, you can also look it up if you want to if you zoom in you can see i get this thing that pops up which i can click on and then it easily highlights the text for me so I can easily see where is text in my photo that I can highlight or copy or paste whatever I wanna do. Also in photos, when you click on this info button down here, you can see have way more information about the photo, where it was taken, when it was taken, the size, the settings on your camera for that photo, um, all that kind of stuff you can get way more info on in photos now but yeah like we all know there's not much different on ios 15 this year it's a pretty minimal update biggest update i feel like is the shared with me and then also you have the facetime which has a huge update but i can't really test that out since nobody i know has the public beta on their phones and it only works if both parties have it so um but yeah that's how you install the ios 15 public beta Okay, so that's all I'm going to be showing with you guys today on iOS 15. I'm really excited to be playing around with it more. I'm probably going to see more features as I go on and work with it every day. Uh, if you want a whole in-depth video on like everything that they announce at the event that's going to be in iOS 15, I'll have that in the eye up top for you guys to go check out. I did do a video after the event just explaining everything they said on stage about what you can expect from iOS 15 and everything like that. So yeah, like I said, that will be in the eye up top for you guys to go check out. But um, yeah, I really hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, give this video a thumbs up and comment down below any other questions you might have for me regarding iOS 15 and my usage of it. Definitely subscribe by clicking on the icon on the screen. Click on the playlist to see all of my other Apple related videos and click on the videos from my previously uploaded video. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.